Hi guys, this is Aswa Mishtaq from the W Vibes and in this uh, video lecture you will learn what are the diode clippers or the limiter circuitry. Basically diode limiters or the clipper circuits are that types of the circuits that are used for removing the certain portion of the input waveforms. And what is the purpose of removing the certain portion of the input waveforms? There can be a scenario where you don't want the negative power to be delivered to the load or where the average output requirement of the load can be smaller or less than the available input voltages. So we can use the diode clippers or the limiter circuits for removing that particular portion of the input waveform just to reduce the magnitude or just to eliminate positive or the negative side of the input waveform. If the input is of the form of like that and the clippers eliminate the positive part of the input waveform and only negative portion of input cycle is present then such types of the clippers are called the positive clippers why because the positive portion is actually removed at the output side similarly if the input signal is sinusoidal and you are just getting the positive cycles at the output waveforms then such types of the clippers are known as the negative clippers okay so basically the clipper circuits can be classified into two types positive clippers or the negative clippers and also if you notice at the output waveform of this or this you can clearly see that it is similar to the waveform of the half wave rectifier so half wave rectifiers are the simplest example of the voltage clippers or the limiter circuits fine now let's see the clipper circuits can be further classified into two categories which are series clippers or the parallel clippers okay and it depends how the diode is connected with a load so if this is a load resistor rl and the diode is connected in series with it then such types of the clipper circuits are known as the series clippers and similarly if both diode and the load resistors are connected in parallel with each other then such types of the clipper circuits are known as the parallel clipper circuits so the simplest clipper circuit series clipper circuit is shown over here and we will see how the output voltage waveform can be drawn for a sinusoidal signal all right So if you look at the direction how the diode is connected let's assume that here is the positive cycle of the input voltage waveform which is actually VI is coming at the anode terminal okay since the positive potential is present at the anode terminal why the cathode is connected by a load to the ground terminal or the negative terminal the, so that's why this diode will be forward biased okay and the current will start flowing through the circuitry okay now what happens since the diode is forward biased so you can replace it with a short circuit in case of a ideal diode model and hence you can simply apply the ohm's law for determining the value of the output voltage or the voltages across the RL resistor or the load resistor okay so V is equal to I into R in this way you will see that the output voltages will appear across the load for the whole positive cycle fine and when the negative cycle of the input voltage will arrive the diode will be reverse biased and you can replace it with an open circuit And since there is 
no path for the current to flow so for the open circuitry no current will flow and hence there will be no voltages according to the ohms law so the voltage across the load resistor will be equal to zero that can be drawn like that again when the positive cycle of the input voltage waveform will arrive this diode will be forward biased and it will start conduction because the current path will be completed and hence you can see the such type of the output voltage waveform will be appeared 